Good morning. It's a great day. Um, I was just driving to Salt Lake this morning and I was thinking a lot about uh, just my my tile career and the, all the different things I've had the opportunity to do and mud and foam and all that. And just wanted to talk a little bit about mud um, and foam. You know, I, I just finished this foam board shower. It's the first one I've done in a handful of years, maybe two years. Um, and it was frustrating to me, but it, I'm glad I, I'm glad I did it. You know, I, I needed to brush up on my foam board skills. So my career kind of in, I started in 1999 and my first shower I did with Hardy Backer with tar paper behind it. And, and that's kind of how I did them for a while. And then I discovered Red Guard. So I was doing Hardy Backer with Red Guard over it. Um, you know, uh, standard pan liners, uh, eventually discovered Curdy with drywall, did a lot of that. Um, you know, den shield with drywall over it, uh, 2007 or so curdy board came out. I did a bunch of curdy board showers, a couple weedy showers. And then I got, I got into mainly doing new construction and all of those showers had den shield installed and it was always horrible. I mean, it was so shitty and I was just like, so frustrated with having to work over this crappy board. And, and I was like, there's gotta be a better way. And that's what kind of led me to, to start um, searching and looking into mud work and so I I I kind of learned about mud work and and got intrigued by it and started to learn it and teach myself with help from the John Bridge Forum and some other people and um, I found that that was just such a simpler way for me to to fix my bad walls and you know the first few years of it were really frustrating for me you know I felt I felt like a fish out of water and I was like this is so hard how you know but but so many people love it, it must be good. I'm gonna stick with it and I stuck with it. And and now after many, many years of doing mostly mud, um, to me, it's just such a simpler, you know, way to fix walls. It really is, it's hard, it's complicated, it's messy, but once you figure it out, it's just a simple process. And so I have built a lot of foam board showers over the years, um, mixed in with my mud showers. And I've never been quite as happy with those, but I, I will say, um, it was really nice to be done at the end of the day and have a pretty clean workspace and not be physically exhausted. You know, there there are some benefits to foam board that I see, you know, and I, I won't deny that. You know, I, I'm definitely not as happy with it as I am with a mud shower. Um, I, I tried my best and I really feel like I made it as perfect as I could, but it's still just not, it's not mud, you know, and if you've, if you've never set out a mud, if you've never set tile over mud, um, Maybe you don't understand why I say that. If you have, um, maybe you understand what I'm talking about. It'll do, it's fine, it's good prep, it's a solid product and I'm confident, you know, and I'm, I'm, I have no problem offering it to my clients as a, as a top-notch product. You know, it, it's good, it's fine, it'll be great. Just personally uh, working with it and working over it, um, I don't find it as simple and, and, um, I just don't think it's as good as mud. So <laughs> for me, you can hate me if you want, but I'll still do it. I'll still do more foam board, especially as I'm getting older, you know, like this job, I really wanted a clean workspace. You know, I just wanted it to be tidy in there and, and it was not the place for mud. So foam board was a great way to do this one and it'll be fine. You know, the, the tile install will look as good as, as a mud shower would. Just the process to me is more frustrating but I did enjoy being clean at the end of the day and not having to deal with all the mess that comes with mud work. So uh, not knocking foam board at all, just just sharing my opinion, the pros and cons. So um, if you're someone who's interested in learning mud and I think any tile setter should, honestly, I mean, just at least learn it, at least give it a shot. But if you think that it's something that you want to do um, and incorporate into your jobs, um, I would absolutely recommend putting in the effort to learn it you know I, I put in a lot a lot of years and a ton of hard work and long days and and you know I didn't make money at it for a long time I really invested everything for a long time there into learning mud and getting good at it and it has benefited my business um, immensely I can't even describe just the opportunities that have come come my way because of knowing how to do mud and my mantra has always been learn how to do everything you know be good at everything don't be a one-trick pony the more skills you have in your toolbox the more things you know how to do the more different things you can offer your clients 
the more valuable you will be. And, you know, we don't really look for work much. It just comes to us and it falls in our lap constantly. And, and I'm not bragging, I'm just saying that is the result of lots of hard work and lots of um, openness to, to trying new things and learning as much as, as much as I can. You know, I, I want to be the guy that can offer you anything. We can do whatever you need done. Doesn't matter how it is, what system, mud, foam, um, whatever. We, we like to be able to do it all. So anyway, if you're someone who wants to learn mud, there's a couple of good opportunities coming up. So one month from today, uh, tile coach Isaac Ostrom is, is doing a mud class in Rockville, California, and he's asked me to come help him teach it. So I think he's got a couple of spots left. I know it filled up pretty quick. This is a paid course, but in my opinion, it is a good investment. If you're someone who wants to learn mud, this is a great opportunity. You will actually be floating your own shower over a two-day period. You know, Isaac and I are going to show you how to do it, and we're going to we're going to give a lot of demonstrations and be there to help you. But you will be floating your own shower from the studs out to finish. So, if that's something you're interested in, reach out to Isaac. Um, I know we have a couple spots left, and and it would be cool to get a few more people in that. There, I know there's a handful of guys already signed up. Um, totally worthwhile investment if it's something that you really are serious about learning and I'm going to be teaching it with Isaac and it's you know I'm excited about it I love teaching mud <clears throat> the uh the next opportunity is in October in Reno so um the mud group on Facebook is a is a cool place where guys talk about mud and and share tips and they've done an event for the last six years so this will be the seventh year it's called the mud event and I've been to pretty much every industry event that there is, you know, coverings, all those things. Mud is my favorite, hands down. And I would, if I could pick one event to go to a year in the industry, it would be mud, easily, hands down, no question. Um, partly because I love mud, but also it's just a, it's a grassroots, down to earth, good time, bunch of good people. You'll get some hands-on experience with mud. You'll see a ton of demos, meet a lot of people who are into mud. Um, that's coming up in October in Reno, and that is a free event. Anybody's welcome, but um, they are trying this year to to sponsor it themselves and not not have so many vendors involved. And so I think we're trying to raise money to get that, you know, to to get that going. So donations are welcome for that, but not required. Um, but if it's something you care about and you're interested in, you know, I think it's worthwhile to look into that and. And I'll definitely be going there. It's it's so much fun. I mean, it really is. And you'll get a lot of uh, a lot of hands-on experience with mud there too. So, if you're interested in mud, check out those two events. Reach out to Isaac Tile Coach or go check out the mud page on Facebook. I think they just started an Instagram account, Mud Event. Um, they're both going to be super awesome. I'd love to see some of you there. So, anyway, I'm here at my shop to pick up supplies. So. We rent a shop space from Rod Catwick. He is he is a long time old school mud guy, tile setter turned um, foam guy. He he came up with some some cool products years ago, and now he makes a living selling foam. You know he makes foam pans and curbs, and he makes those shims that I was using. And Rod is a serious craftsman. I mean he's also one of my best friends, and I feel like this isn't. A family business but I feel like it is it's his family business but I feel like I'm part of it you know my son Eli works for him and I feel like family here Rod's always helping me with cool ideas making me cool stuff out of foam to help with my jobs so we rent a shop space from him which is really cool it's right here in in the heart of like the industrial zone of Salt Lake we've got you know Rod who sells foam and go board and and all kinds of different random stuff that you always need we got Modern Tile down the street who has Laddercrete, Contempo's, got my pay and custom, we got Bedrosians over there where I get my Dynacrete. So within like a couple blocks, we have all that stuff. Uh, Midwest where we can get Shonox. So lots of, it's a really good place to be right in the heart of Salt Lake. And, and we rent a little shop space here. And, um, you know, one of the one of the perks of, uh, of having the shop over here is the great view of the Wasatch. It's kind of quieter today, but the best part is there's a bacon factory right across the interstate there and a couple days a week they make bacon and today they're making bacon and oh my god it smells so good it makes me want to just go lay on the couch and eat bacon for the rest of the day so if you didn't know like i am a sucker for bacon so 
love it anyway this is our shop um we're running low on supplies we got dinocrete deck mud we got one bag of fat mud left we got a couple more pallets coming ultralight rod's got all his big foam blocks we got his go board here so it's pretty cool we got a forklift that rod has that we get to use um, having a storage space has been life-changing for my business. I mean, we can buy in bulk and store it here and it's just, it makes life so much more efficient. But anyway, obviously you can tell I just drank coffee. So I'm uh, excited to be alive and I'm excited to go do some waterproofing in my shower today. And you know, I'm happy, I'm happy with the foam board. It was, uh, I mean, it's itchy as shit, the go board, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I might as well go rolling some poison ivy if I want to be that itchy. But, you know, mud is dusty and it, you know, gives you mud boogers and makes you dirty and ruins your clothes. So whatever, you can't win, right? You gotta pick your pain. Um, I don't mind the hard work. I, you know, I don't mind the hard work that comes with mud, but I did enjoy the, uh, the easiness of just cutting and hanging board. It was frustrating. It was hard for me to get it flat. I still don't feel like it's perfect as mud would have been, but it'll do, you know, I'm happy with it. I'm not gonna complain. Uh, my son Eli should be here any minute. He works for Rod over there. I'm gonna hang around and say hi to him and then head up the mountain to Park City. So hope you guys enjoyed this rambling and I'm just happy to be alive. Happy to be set and tile today. So peace.